Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Let's Build a Zoo. Today's beverage is a nice cup of red bush tea or rooibos as it's sometimes called. Either way, welcome back to the game where we have just got ourselves some goose. Geeses? Geese sizes? Geeseses? Either way, they have now turned up. There might be the odd change from the end of the last episode, just because of when the game saves and things like that, so there might be the odd change here and there. Um, we have a bit of a problem. We don't have as many buses as we really require, so um, we might have to sort that out. Either way, we've got over 100 visitors. We will finish that task, which is going to give us 1,500 generic units of currency. Not too bad at all. Anyway, in the previous episode, we started building our zoo, and we got these two things in here so not bad at all but we really do want to expand so let's go ahead and do just that i'm going to buy the land to the right hand side there uh, this is from Andrew the Goth. New task is the Darkness Beckons. I'm the Dark Lord Gilgaroth and I come here to look at your only most evil animals, but I don't like the light because I'm a vampire. Please let me traverse some of your zoo underground. And that means we want to build, well, he wants us to build two subways, which is fine, I guess. I, however, don't really have the ability to make said subways, so I don't really know what we're going to do there. Either way, progress is, well, it's fine. I guess we've got these two up and running. However, oh, there's some dirt in there. We have oh, problems with feeding and food supplies. Why have we got problems with feeding and food supplies? I've got all the food required. We probably just don't have the required people. Let's go ahead and check out our star room here in staff. We only have one member of staff. So I'm going to pause the game and go to recruit. Open up recruiting with social media and then we'll apply those changes and start looking for another person. Also, the person that we've got on this job here, I have not, I don't think, have I set them to a zoning area? No, you can set zones up so they only clean a specific area. I'm going to set up this zone right in front of us for now and they'll go sort of this way to the left and then the new person that we get will go this way to the right. At least that is my goal and I'm sure I'll forget about that in the future. So overall we are doing, let's say, okay. Money is very good at 2,815.50 generic units of currency. Research is also good. Let me check out that research tree here. We can go with a slushy shop. Shop. Actually, do we already have one? No, we do. Uh, we've got a bin pack with penguins. We've got animal trampoline. I think we'll pick that up. We'll also go for animal shelter as well, which requires... Ah, sadly, that requires how many? Uh, five research points. We can't do that. But what I can do is go into here and go to add objects over to uh, enrichment. And then we've got different things for enrichment, which in this particular case includes... Uh, <laughs> Includes, yes, includes a trampoline, which uh, allows the animals to bounce up and down. I am going to assume that that could cause some issues, but um, there you go. Over to the animals here as well, and I want to alter their... I want to alter their... Um, their diet because at the moment it's just straw which means their nutrition is actually fairly poor so I'm going to increase the food that they get like so grains and mealworms etc um, normally it's about 20% of each one there you go uh, however they would be overfed if I did that so we can get them up to uh, uh, we get them up to nutrition here um, uh, almost maxed out, which is pretty good, and that includes straw, grains, mealworms, and bread. Obviously, it's going to cost us a little bit, but that doesn't concern me. I'm, I'd rather the animals be uh, very, very... Uh, I'm going to say full, but that's not the right term. Satisfied, certainly, and uh, getting the right amount of uh, balance and you know, minerals and etc, etc. Uh, so overall the plan, I don't really have a, a grand plan in terms of what we're going to do for expansion wise. I do want to get obviously some new animals and we may theme these different areas. So one might be like desert and that sort of thing, but haven't yet fully decided. I think we'll have a quick look at the world map and there is nothing. Oh, there's only this flashing here, which is, ah, we can get pigs. Okay, oh, it's only a singular, only a singular pig. Some of these other ones are requiring different variations of animals um i think what we'll do then is we're going to do you want to import the rabbit um i think we've got one of these we're gonna, but we're going to rescue both of those animals and then drop them in here and then use that they're going to come over so i think what we'll do is i'll go to building and we're going to get some more of the flooring in here and that's just going to run across that's how that goes and then one two three 
this is all going to become um, our pen here, essentially. It's going to be our new one. This is going to be for pigs. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is that. I believe it should be square, but we'll double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Uh, the entrance as well, by the way, I'm also very tempted to alter them. And I know someone suggested that, putting it down here, because that's where we've got this storeroom. So it probably is a good idea. Let me go to edit enclosure and go to move gate. And then the gate's going to go down the bottom. This trampoline will also uh, be edited. So I'm going to move... Uh, oh, no, sorry. You can move. Hang on. You can move the entire pen, and I really don't want to do that at this stage. You want to go to view objects. I want to go for the trampoline move. It is a little bit of a mess on, I must confess. Uh, it would be better if I could just click on the objects instead of view, but... Well, this is what we have to do. So that's going to go down there. Uh, once again, view object, trampoline. Trampoline is just going to go um, probably just a little bit further along. That's fine. Over to here then. We're going to go to edit enclosure. Move the gate. The gate can go down the bottom. Naturally, it probably would be better to have the gate right down here. Uh, sorry, the, uh, the water right down here and whatnot, but it doesn't really matter too much. Um, saving game, there we go. We've got uh, 2,417 cash and a new task from K Sawyer. Uh, donate 500. I'm thinking of opening a transport dealership to sell in industrial vehicles and buses. If you would like to invest a sum of money, I'll open an account for you and show you our front of the queue when it comes to buying buses and services your zoo. I will, um, I will donate. It uh, yeah, reward. Unlocking and buying buses at bus the ticket office. So, thanks for an investment from the local zoo. K. Sawyer has opened a transport dealership. Uh, yeah, he said this to sell. Uh, I am so happy. Not only will I be able to sell buses to the zoo, I'll also be able to sell all kinds of other industrial vehicles to people in the area. And you can see we've got like a line on the side of that bus there. Okay, expanded business to the include the... Other love of theme park attractions, but for now it looks like the Transport Tycoon's business will do uh, f fantastically well in the area. Fine, okay. Um, where were we? So view objects, go over to the water basin here, that will move down the bottom. View objects, the trampoline, and then we're going to move that, and that will go... I mean, it doesn't really matter, but uh, I guess there. Oh, there's also view objects, the ball. Um, the ball gets pushed around, so I'm not, it doesn't really matter where that one goes. Anyway, so that is all in. Let me go ahead and close that. I want to get... Oh, we've got some alerts here. We have drink shops. Uh, they are thirsty. They want more drink shops. We also want more benches. Right. What I'll do is I'll build this. Let me go up and pause. I wish, I wish Spacebar was actually open up building or pause it space for pause right click to open up building that would be good anyway um i'm going to go over to grass here and then we're going to click there and then move this around and we'll get ourselves another pen that will go in there inside the pen we will have add objects water water basin now we're getting pigs so we're just going to go with this standard water basin the reason i say we're getting pigs i'll go with this one is it Sometimes I want um, like the metal ones and such, just might fit the animals a bit better. I mean, it probably won't, but it is what it is. Anyway, um, we'll have to add objects, enrichment, I want the trampoline, which will go in here. And we'll go for a small ball, we'll make this one red though, because why not? And we've also got, apparently, water link, oh, water link shortage. Well, yes, of course, because uh, where we place these. Um, I could move, could that move over here? and service both of these, it probably can. That's probably the better way of doing it. In fact, move there, this one, move there. And it obviously misses out the center, but it doesn't matter. It's servicing all of this. And let's go to add animals. So we'll go to get animals, click on that, and we've got goose. And, oh, we've only got the geese there, sadly. We don't have the others. We don't have a pig uh, thing for a pig. Okay, fair enough. Um, add animals here. And goose, goose, goose. And then add drop. Job done. Um, let me finish off the flooring. So it's this, and that, and that. Mm -hmm. That's correct, good. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we also want to go for, well, just flooring. Let's just go for strip flooring. I'll just get this sorted. Right click to remove that. There we are. 
Move these over. And that's just <laughs> either geese as well. So we've got brown bench, white bench, garden bench, and wood bench. I'm going to go with the wooden bench. And we can rotate it. You can also... Is that a flip? No. So I'm going to place this bench um, in pretty much the same areas. Um, so it's going to be here. Then rotate it. Like that. So that shouldn't interfere with people looking at the animals, but also means that we can have... Well, we do need some more lighting for a start. We want to do that for quite some time. Because you need to make sure that these are well lit, which they are now. Um, I'll finish the right-hand side pathing in a second. I think that's all right for the most part. Bins wise. Decoration, we haven't got much. So I'm assuming decoration wise, we're not going to be great. I don't know how many zoom maps or signs you need, but there you are. It is what it is. Let me just unpause it while the game figures out we've now actually got some benches. Um, so we got simple lights in. We haven't got a fountain, but um, hadn't really planned on too much. Or maybe this we could make quite an open area, and that changes things up a little bit. Yeah, it, it all depends on how we how we feel, really. Um, we do want a slushy place, which is going to go in here. There we go. And we'll just hire someone to work on that one. Over to flooring once again. And then the grey flooring. And it's just going to extend to the right, isn't it? I mean, obviously there's not much over there, but we'll get to that. This one just obviously extends up and around. And um, that's that done. And then we can use our right click to just put in these little chamfers there. We don't need to. It's just it's giving it a little more detail, isn't it? So, okay, good. Um, add animals, yes, that's fine. Uh, new shop sales is also good. In terms of research, we are oh, pretty pretty okay there. Let's see what we've got. We've got a shelter pack. And we've got... Um, ooh, that's the processor. Unlock something next to this to learn more. It is a processor. Yeah, we've seen that. Uh, there is, by the look of it, I don't know if you can see that. That'll be the subway. Um, there's a nursery. There is cotton candy. That's a floor pack for stone. There's animal shelters. Uh, and that's a special one. Oh, no, sorry. That's shelters, not animal shelters. Um, the difference being that animal shelters, which I've now unlocked... Oh, there's a release hub as well. Nice. Um, the animal shelters are, again, something you can place in the pen. So add object in... Oh, shelter. And then it's just a wooden shelter that goes somewhere. And, yeah, as you might imagine, it's a shelter for the animals. So it just gives them a little extra bonuses there. Uh, food supplies here should be fine. Um, oh, look at the money. <laughs> I've got uh, 30... Well, I've got three quid, basically. <laughs> I've got almost no money. Um... So I'm hoping that shop sales will be fine. Uh, I'll probably also go for building and then for the floor tiles and for the grass. And then I'm going to build uh, all this with grass. Now, obviously we can change this if need be, but the idea was to have the majority of it as grass rather than the, uh, the sort of dirt that we've got there. Now that may change. In fact, I wouldn't say may. It's gonna, it's, it will change eventually if we have like different themed zones. Um, but for now, we're going to keep it as quite universal as possible. So there we go. We've got cotton candy. We've got hot dog stand, which from this angle just looks a bit... Yeah. Um, we've also got the gift stand. We've got the research hub on the go. We have... Oh, 57. Hang on. Let's go ahead and actually buy some food. Actually, you don't need to buy it from there. And I've just realised also, I've been searching all this time. Um, <laughs> one moment. Staff... And, yes, we've got five applicants. Please stop searching. Let's see who we've got here. We've got uh, Burton and Andrea. I will have a look at those. Politeness is good and work ethic is excellent. Um, we're going to go with Burton. Their work ethic, work ethic is just a bit more, so we're going to hire them. And that's going to stop the search. And for this person, I'm going to put their zoning is that one. All right. And which will expand to the right-hand side. Uh, salary is 100 for Burton. If we check out this person, their salary is 100. Their zone's also going to expand to there. And there we go. Okay, job done. It's saying we have... Oh, we have a new birth of an animal. It's a new rabbit called Monty. Very good. We have to add animals and we've also got low water. Where have we got low water? There. Interesting. Coverage is okay. So do we need just more water? Let's 
Let's see if just putting another one in works. Indeed it does. So I'll just put that water trough like that. Okay. Um, let's see about adding animals then. Oh, hang on. Here's the end of week summary. So, current held money, zero. <laughs> current loan, 968. And there's our loan. Hello, I work with a bank and I'm here to bail you out. Oh, so we've had to be... We've, <laughs> yeah, Horizon Bank. Um, we've only give loans for certain things and sometimes you'll have no choice but to take one. For example, if you can't afford a fine or pay your staff, you'll have to take a loan. But when deciding what severance package to give, whether or not to take advantage of certain opportunities, loans will be available and an option. Okay. No set debt to repay the debt, but a payment of 10% of your current bank balance will automatically be recovered at the end of every week until the loan is repaid. So there you go. So let's confirm that. Uh, we can see we've used 144 kilowatts of energy and 167 gallons of water. That seems quite a bit. We've got gas emissions. No CO2, but a lot of methane as well. Obviously the animals. Trash, only one produced. Salary payments totaled 790 generic units of currency. Income was 6,811. Uh, no previous data for the last one. Profit, nothing. Expenditure, a lot because we're building a zoo. So overall, we've lost some money, but you know, we've you know, been building a zoo. We'll recoup that. Um, so this is Kathleen, an investor. Your next performance target is to have 50 customers in one day. Only then we'll give you more capital. Okay. And another one from Sunny as well. New task, research for good. Unlock the energy of the wind turbine. All right. And a new one from Mrs. Lee. Buy a bus. Okay. Anything else? Nope. No, we have freedom to uh, actually click and move around now. Good. Let's go to add animals, and we have we have rabbits, but nothing really that I can uh, really use. I say use, <laughs> you know, nothing I would really want to get in this new pen. Um, you can see, oh, there's the baby rabbits there. Is that Monty? It is Monty. Yes. Who else have we got? Macy and Teddy Bear the rabbit. Not confusing at all. Um, we have transport, and we have, you have different routes. Ah, let me help, buy a bus using credit. Think you could grow your business if you had more buses. I know that they cost a lot, so how about I lend you the money? This is Arlong San. Give you the money right now, yes, but there's some profit for, for me. Jet the offer or get a, a loan and get the bus instantly. I'm going to get the bus instantly because immediately buy a bus, we gain a grand back anywhere. So we have a new bus. Good. Um, in terms of our research, I want to go for wind turbine. I need to unlock something near it. So I'm going to go with a penguin bin. <laughs> it's unlikely I'll use the penguin bin unless I have an area for penguins. Okay, fair enough. Um, hang on. Oh, here we go. I was going to see what that, that is that's coming in. Uh, ticket price is low, by the look of it. It says ticket price is too low. Let me alter that. So go over to here. Go to ticket price. And I'm going to go for maybe an increase in two. There we go. It's up two generic units of currency. Oh, there's the new geese. Right. Nice. Good. This is good. Um, right. How do we want to proceed? I think we want another... I think what I want to do is move these down a little bit, potentially anywhere, and have like a, a food area, like that sort of juts down around this area. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, it just, man, honestly, the reason why I want to do that is because they look a lot better when they're like facing down or side on, and that's the only real reason. I could leave those there and build some up here. Um, because my plan was to have like a, maybe like a big pond or something up here. Oh, new sales record for the slushy shop. Very nice. Uh, facilities wise, we were okay for certain things. Uh, there's no bath everywhere. There's, uh, good, I think, good lighting. Let me go for heat maps. So, drinking water is fine. Decoration is... Not good. We'll have to sort that out. Bins, we'll have to sort that out. Lighting is 60 and 90%. It'll be higher when we go over here as well as we expand, so I'm okay with that one. Collision, we don't need to look at. Entrances is fine. Animal keepers, we've got set and janitors. 
I could probably do with another janitor, I think. Um, so how do we want to do that? That's a restroom. Um, it is uh, here. Uh, this is tasks. Oh, get visitors in one day. 57 out of 50. Complete tasks. Finish. 1,500 generic units of currency. Um, so you need to unlock the wind turbine, and we need to unlock the subway, and it... <laughs> It looks ridiculous as those are bouncing on top there, but you know, it, uh, it it seems to work out for them. So there you are. Hot dog sale uh, sales are, are a record high as well, and they're all just rabbits again. Thing is, we could keep importing rabbits because uh, when you click on these, if we have a quick look at them, uh, there's the genome there. We see these are the types of rabbits. Um, I think we can, I think we can get like you get different breeds and such to unlock their full genome and all that. Um, right, what I was going to do, I was going to put in some... Some nature might be nice, some like bushes and such. But I'm going to go with... Hmm, some bins. So I've been in there, been in there. It's basically mirroring what we've got. What we've got here so that's fine we don't have a restroom around this area though and i think a restroom probably for the better decoration wise <clears throat> you've got like planters you can put in park rating we attracted 43 people current cash our profit today was 3180 and, um, Franny, a complainer, no rest for the Riri. What kind of zoo doesn't have enough benches? Build five benches. Finished task. Already got it. Already got it. Uh, Captain Bleach. I want to put a cute polar bear on our bleach bottles and <laughs> add that we could donate cash to cleaning up products to the zoo and help our customers understand the clean message. You really need to build some bathrooms. Build three restrooms. Okay. Well, I was probably working on that I was already working on that anyway so let's go ahead and continue on um, with our expansion of flooring um, like that and we'll have another one of these in well it'll be about there won't it let me put in the other one of these because it'll be like that I think that One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's fine. Down here then. Amenities, restrooms. And there we go. That increases your park rating. And also, we can now go and finish that task. 500. Brilliant. That's good. Um, how we're doing for research? We're on 16%. I really need that one, but it's 10 research points for the energy pack. So I'll wait for that one. Let's see if we can get some more animals. Add animals over to here. It's all rabbit, but a new type of goose. So once again... Oh, that is filthy. We need to sort that out. That is absolutely filthy. And also apparently we need to order food in. I don't know why it can't just be automatically ordered in. Or maybe it can. I'll have a look at that in a second. Let's just rescue that animal use that uh, over to here and to storeroom and you can just say quick order so you can change the animal's diet I think why that one there is a different color is that the I don't know hmm. um, these are based on the type of animal rabbit uh, but you can set it to certain pens only and this one is obviously empty and I don't want to bring in more rabbit. We've got Toronto Zoo, which requires some form of a pig to get ducks. We've got London Zoo, which is some sort of snake to get pigs. We've got uh, Rio de Janeiro Zoo, which is some type of duck to get different types of snakes. And then Sydney Zoo from snakes to get wombats, by the look of it. Is that, is that wombats? Hyenas, sorry. Hyenas. Okay. Fair enough. 
Yeah, that's that place is absolutely filthy. That needs to be uh, <laughs> that needs to be rectified sooner rather than later. <laughs> um, looks like the keeper is in there though. She is cleaning up, so that's fine. So over to building once again, and then to our nature. And what I'm going to do is place like some some of like these in here, and hopefully that'll like make it look a little bit better than it does. And yes, I know I am building it the same around here. It's just so I don't forget. Let's check. Heat maps. Decoration. There you go. 5%. <laughs> so actually, it's not great. So for decoration... Don't really need signboards. Oh, there's actually one thing called decoration. Red banner and an owl clock. Whoops. Where have I just placed one of those? Out of interest, then, I've placed one decoration here by accident, and that has increased our decoration by, oh, a tiny percentage. Okay, I am, unless uh, unless something is uh, going to alert me otherwise, I am not going to worry too much about decoration until, um, let me buy that. I'm not going to worry too much about decoration until something major happens, like people just aren't turning up, because I'd rather wait for the research points to then unlock more decoration and go from there. I don't think that's unreasonable, but we'll see how that one goes. Um, speaking of going, I'm going to go here and then put in our flooring once again, and obviously we are keeping it roughly the same, I know, I say roughly, it is exactly the same, but it uh, will at least allow me to hopefully keep things correct. So there we go. Looks like people are quite enjoying the new animals, and who we've got here actually, we've got Pinky, please say the brain, oh wrinkles, okay. Um, and we've got also a new one here which is Duchess, there we go. You can see they are a healthy weight, and their diet is good, their happiness seems to be alright, health is down a little bit, I don't know why health would be down. Um, you've got a medical rating, but we've not got a, we've not got a medical report or anything that we can run. We just don't have the ability to do that. Um, profit today is actually in the negative. We, we've lost some money. Um, because obviously of the expansion, this was too grand for this one. So my plan for here was to make, like, a, like a fairly central area with a, I guess it would be a big fountain, essentially. Um, something like that would go in here. And have this like as a really big area where we can have subways and all sorts of stuff. Um, okay, artistic or common sense? This is a commission for a fake animal. Hey, I noticed that you have a geese in your zoo, but I know you want more exciting. What about a peafowl? Okay. Technically just a goose that's colourful with a fancy tail. I don't think a peacock is that. I could make the tail from a pa from paper mache. It would be great. I could practice my skills and get your visitors... <laughs> We have the love and uh, see more exotic bird. We need, we need to provide <laughs> a goose. They paint it. We get that. That will give us an essentially negative uh, rejoice, uh, negative morale. I'm going to reject that. That's not something I want to go down. That's not a route I want to go down. Okay, so this is going to be three wide. That's uh, how we've had it before. And um, the difference being that we have these go along like this. And also these ones. This is just me really trying to just think aloud. Um, that doesn't seem right, and that's because it isn't right. But that's not too bad. Is there a way we can get a bigger fountain? Let me have a quick look. Um, we've got subways there. That's a subway pack classic. We've got shelter packs. We've got cotton candy. We've got tree pack. We've got plant pack. Electricity siphon. Lamppost packs. Okay. Mm. I guess no. I mean, there might be one somewhere. Oh, there's a recycling center and a farm processor. Yeah, there might be some in some places, but let's just go to decoration and then this. So I want this sort of like centralized ish. Ish. Have like a fairly big open area around it. This is where obviously it's going to change the size of um, change the size of certain things. And all this is going to be wood. Let's 
Let's see him here. Put these in. Hang on, that's the wrong way. That one. Um, that way I meant. Yeah. And there we go. And then I'm going to put some food and shelter and other things around here and benches. But uh, probably once I've got a bit more money. Get animals. More rabbits again and geese. Don't necessarily need that. Um, we have a problem. Add animals and enrichment. We've got problems with enrichment. It says no enrichment. No enrichment where? Food supply and enrichment's good over there. Oh, enrichment's down a little bit. It's probably because we've got too fewer items, maybe? Let's add another ball in. There you go. Enrichment's gone back up. It's just because of the sheer amount of animals. Um, this space is okay. It's currently spacious. Enclosure size is 49. But obviously once you get to a certain point, it becomes acceptable and then overcrowded and then massively uh, too dense. And we've had a birth as well, which is Trinity the Rabbit. So there we go. Um, a little bit more research and we will be able to get wind turbines. Which is the greener option. See it's on 9 at the moment, it'll tick over any moment. There we go, research hub. We've now got wind turbines. Look, one of my energy packs, increase the effic uh, efficiency of your wind turbines to generate 15 kilowatts per day. So you get different bonuses. Oh, there's a, there's a large ball as an enrichment thing. Okay. Oh, and a brick restroom as well. Um, this is the Horizon Herald. First Jan year one, the zoo goes off the grid. Spokesperson for the zoo excited to announce partnership with Wind Power Inc. to undertake construction of green energy facilities within the zoo. And unlock wind turbine gain. It's a hundred. Okay. And I bet the wind turbines are massively expensive. Um, that would be under facilities, would it? Yes, it is. A wind turbine. It says generate electricity in a green way. Cost a hundred. Oh, it's actually really cheap. So I'm going to place them quite frankly right at the edge of the park oh having them right next to each other doesn't really sit well with me i actually like them one two three four five five apart one two three four so five apart there you go um should probably build from this side one two three four one two three four there one, two, then we start from there. And all the wind turbines are going to go along that side. We could make, obviously, a big area for that and separate it out, but that's a future as problem. So each one of those costs money. 55 people attracted today. Current cash is 535. And you're doing a good job. I swell your bank balance to 20 grand to be able to call in my friends to get additional funding. We need to haul... Hall. We need to hold uh, two grand. That shouldn't be a big problem. And a new task from Potter here, social animal. I don't want to see many animals outside the zoo anymore, which is why I want to come here. You can bring someone to your zoo. That would be great. Get 25 animals. We're on uh, 50... Sorry, 25%. Um, and... we got geese. But obviously no, like, new rabbits or anything like that. Get animals. So it doesn't say new. I think we know about that one already. Still gonna rescue it and bring it in. There you go. It's gonna get delivered. Gonna double check in here for What's this collection. Oh, types of animals. That's what I was looking for. This is the animal um, species thing. So there is, we can see, um, these are the type of animals, and the, basically as they get different species they'll go up to here so that I'm told from London Zoo can produce that one breed more to discover the variants oh there's the parents you see offspring chances 28% ah so we need whatever that one is hmm okay so we just need more types of animals so we're just gonna keep an eye on the world map you see there you go and there might be opportunities later on to uh, get more. 
I'm actually going to move... Um, do you want to move food stuff in here? We've got amenities, shelters, shops. There's the hot dog stand. <laughs> I like the hot dog stand. There you go. And on the other side, we're going to have our... Maybe gift stand? I know we've already got one, but back here might help. And we'll probably put some seating around here as well. I just wanted to make something different in the middle. Um, what is probably going to be good as well, I'll need to light it, which currently I haven't. So it would be um, in the middle, so there. Is that right? Yeah, there. Because these are going to be like that. All the pathing is going to be three wide at minimum. That was my goal. This bit here, we might shorten. And I know this is different size from the other ones, but that means we can have different size pens. Because the next pens I want to build here and here, I want to make larger. So there we go. Right, well, I think we're going to leave it there for now. That's bit. That's been a bit of let's build a zoo and also a bit of flooring that has been removed. Overall, very happy with our progress. Geese have arrived. A lot more people have arrived. And Richmond is not good enough. Where at? In there again. Okay. The rabbits, we may need to do something about in terms of their enrichment. May need to unlock more stuff. We now have green supply. We've got a new bus. Overall, I think we're progressing on quite nicely. That's been a bit of Let's Build a Zoo. And next episode, we are going to look at getting more animals, building a zoo. <laughs> I don't think really there's much else to say about that. And obviously, a lot of it is based on research that we have and what we can unlock. Getting another um, animal enrichment large ball thing would help out. Um, I don't know what that is there. And we might want to go for a nursery. Uh, so use selective breeding to discover new animal types and help each uh, map each species genome. Oh, cotton candy, actually. Probably for up here. Oh, that's maybe, that maybe might do that as well. Either way, we shall see how we get on. As always, hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series this far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.